What's up YouTube, you're with me Cornish Ratbeard. So today I thought that I'd try something a little different and for all those people out there that are wanting to start a YouTube channel or something similar and have no clue, especially the editing side of things, then this could really help you out. Although simple to some, everyone needs to start somewhere and it can be very daunting, especially with the editing side of things. I'm probably going to do a couple of very small mini guides showing you guys how I do some very simple editing. The software that I'll be using to do this is a decent free one called Hit Film Express. It's a great software for you to start with. I found it online and I will link that in the description below. It's a good one for beginners to learn the basics with. So um, if you do have a different version of this same editing software or if you have a completely different editing software then the principles shown here will be pretty much the same for all editing software. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to just pull a video into the editing software and prepare it for you to work on. Very simple, very easy. First thing that we do once we have opened up the hit film is hit the new button up here on the left side of the screen. You can enter some project settings from here. I recommend keeping it on the default settings for now as this seems to work well with YouTube. But basically you are looking for 1080p quality and 60 frames per second. If yours is different, then go ahead and sort that out now. Click OK and and it will load in a blank canvas for you to work on. So I'm using OBS to capture my gameplay and I've created a file in my D drive in which my original OBS videos are stored. Find the video that you want to edit and drag it from its location into this box here. Now I'm using two screens so I can keep this page fully maximized but you may need to shrink your hit film down just a little to be able to see your files that you want to drag over. Alternatively, you can just push the import button here and locate your file that way. Either way guys, it's the same result, but do bear in mind that the software needs to have a little bit of time to load in the video that you are bringing across. Now, the amount of time that it takes depends on the size of the file of the original video that you're using and the speed of your computer, of course. But once we have it in the media import section, we could go ahead and add more videos if we needed to to this project. But in this instance, we are just looking at getting this one video ready to be edited. This section here is our editing section where all the magic happens. This is where you're going to spend pretty much all of your time editing. Now we need our video to be here before we can work on it. So go ahead and drag the file you just imported to this section here now, basically dragging it from the left to the right. Now straight away, we can see that we now have a video bar section and an audio one, both of which can be worked on together or separately. I'll show you lots of different tips in different videos, but remember that this is just a basic video on showing you how to get going. Also a quick tip here would be very early on is always save, 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 save guys. Although this program has a great backup system in which if the power goes or the computer freezes, it will, um, it will back up save for you and you can come back to it. And I find that very handy, but but if you just pop up here to the file and then save as button, you can name your project and save it. Even if this does auto save, I find it just reassuring that you have your own save. And plus it gives you the opportunity here to rename and well, basically name your project. So thanks for watching this very quick mini guide. This is the start of many. So look out for more simple editing options coming out soon by me Cornish Ratbeard. Take care and bye bye for now.